Hello everyone. Let's take a look at the Ohm's Law Lab. And we're going to start off with procedure number one. Here we have a circuit that we need to measure the current on. Uh, before we measure the current though, I'd like to measure what the voltage is uh, when the battery is loaded. So it calls for a 9-volt source, so we're going to be using a 9-volt battery. And I want to measure the voltage under load because the voltage no load and the loaded voltage uh, they typically will not be the exact same value. So let's go ahead and do that. So here I have a battery. I'm going to get uh, get a red lead here connected to the positive side of the battery. And I will get a black lead as well. And I will connect that up right there. And then from there I am going to connect it to a, a 10 k ohm resistance. So connect the red side there, black side over here and with that I'm able to measure the voltage. So I have a voltmeter as shown right there so I need to measure the voltage. So let's go ahead and see what it reads. Replacing my lead here and my lead right over here. I get uh, about 9.41 volts. The battery uh, lead popped off over here but 9.41 volts that was readily seen. Now I connected everything back up so current is flowing through there and uh, now to measure current. Well to measure current don't forget that on your meter you need to set it up to measure current. Uh, you can see right here that this lead is for volts, ohms and for frequency. I need to pop that out and plug it into the milliamp insert right there and then on the range setting I need to go ahead and go to milliamps but DC and that's over here in this area at least on this particular meter and you can see that it has an A then with a solid line and then three dashed lines underneath but that is for DC as opposed to this one which it has a sine wave which is for AC and since I don't actually know the amount of current that we're going to be sampling right now uh, I anticipate though that if I had 9 volts and 10k well that uh, the actual reading is going to be fairly low that it's actually going to be less than 2 milliamps so I'm going to set it there initially now what I need to do here is that I need to break the circuit and what I'm going to do is I'm going to open it right here so from the positive it's going to flow right here and right at this instance right here right at that point I open it up so now I have two points formed and I will connect the positive lead of the ammeter, connect it there, and don't forget that the current flows through the meter, okay, and comes out the black lead, and the black lead is going to be where the other point is. And you can see on the screen that I get nine, excuse me, 0.943 milliamps. Now the thing is, when you look at the setting, it's in the two milliamp range setting. So that means that whatever you see on the screen is going to be in milliamps. Again, you're in 2 milliamp range. So therefore, that's going to be in milliamps. So it's 0.943 milliamps. So I guess you can go ahead and put it uh, to the proper prefix, which would be 943 microamps. So that's what the current is. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the next page. Now, in step 7, we can see that uh, we have another 10k ohm value resistance, but these two are in parallel. You can see that the top ends of the resistors are connected to each other and the bottom ends are connected to each other. When that happens, that means that those two components are in parallel. Now, the one thing is, when you put two resistances in parallel, you're going to get a lesser resistance. Now, when you have two equal resistances in parallel, you're going to get an overall resistance that is half of one of them. So 10K in parallel with 10K is going to give me an overall resistance of 5K from end to end. So therefore, let's assemble the circuit. So here on the breadboard, I'm going to have another 10K ohm resistor and I'm going to put it in parallel with the one that's already there. So it's going to look something like this. All right, so there's the assembly. You can see that these two ends of the resistor are on the same set of five holes, 
and these two other ends are in the same set of five holes. Now we're asked to measure the current. Now we just stated that the overall resistance is going to be half of what it was, meaning that the that it went from 10k down to 5k. So we're going to expect the current to actually be twice as much. So therefore, I'm going to open it up here again. So I'm going to go ahead and open it there, connect it to the positive lead of my ammeter. Now we're going to be expecting twice as much. So the two the 2 milliamp range setting should still be sufficient here. We'll find out. And then I'm going to connect the black lead of the meter right here. And I'm getting 1.8 milliamps. And you can still see that I'm in the 2 milliamp range setting and the current there. So again, the current is going to be uh, in, in the unit that the range is, uh, it, as to what the range is. So 1.85 milliamps. In procedure number nine, we're asked to measure again the current, but this time through 9k ohms. Well, when you think about it, if you employ Ohm's law, nine divided by 1k is going to give you nine milliamps. So on the meter here, we definitely need to put it to a higher range setting. So we need to definitely drop it down to, or up to, I should say, to 20 milliamps, because it needs to be able to handle at least the 10 that we anticipate in the circuit here. So what we need to do is we need to replace the two resistances here. We need to take them out and we're going to use just a single 1k ohm value which I have here. So let's go ahead and put that in here. Somewhere around there. That's fine. And again I will connect the positive side of the battery here and the negative of the battery right there. But don't forget we're asked to measure current, right? Current. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the circuit right here and I'm going to connect this to the positive. Again, current's going to flow out of the positive of the battery, go around, go into the meter, go through the meter and come out the black lead and continue on its way. So in a sense the circuit should operate exactly as it did before all right. The only thing now is that you have an ammeter in play, and you can see that the uh, that the current is 8.63 milliamps. All right, and that is it. That's the end of the examples. Thank you all very much.